Stella, just how did you feel when the decision came through? I, I started crying happy tears. Uh, I, it was a moment of, of release. I couldn't quite believe it. And I was also sad that I wasn't there. I understand you got to speak to Julian briefly while he was on the plane. What did he have to say? Uh, that he missed me and he couldn't wait to see me uh, later tonight. And all the things that we're, we're going to do over the next few days, weeks. He wants to go swimming in the ocean uh, every day. And he wants to teach our children um, how to uh, catch crabs. Wow. Uh, so I think uh, he wants to go to, to the beach. Well, with any luck, someone will hand him a fishing rod. Uh, that'd be great. This is an extraordinary situation because when you first met Julian, he was under house arrest. So you've got this relationship, you've got kids, you're married, but you have never, ever known him as a free man. Like, your whole relationship has been one where he is in captivity. I don't know anybody else like this. I... It's a, it's a wild situation. How does it feel knowing that it's all about to change? I, I, I don't quite know. It's been so normalised that we've always had some kind of restriction on, on his movements, on what he can do, on, you know, what time he... Uh, initially, when he was under house arrest, he had to be uh, in the house that he was at uh, under house arrest at uh, certain times. He had to report to police every day. Then in the embassy, which is where we got together, uh, he was obviously um, confined uh, 24 hours a day. But there was relative um, freedom within those walls. Uh, but then in Belmarsh, it became extremely restricted where we weren't able to speak to each other for more than 10 minutes at a time when he called me. He could only call me during certain times of day. These kinds of restrictions, they really uh, become internalised. So it's, I think it will be quite a process. And I've spoken to people who have been confined and their family members and so on, and they all say the same thing. You need space, you need time, you need to process things. Uh, someone yesterday said, uh, freedom comes slowly. Stella, you have children with Julian. How are the kids? Can they even comprehend what it's like to have a dad who's home with them? Uh, well, I've been planting the seed of Julian coming home from the very beginning. I've been talking about the many things that we'll do when he comes home, uh, that uh, we'll go to Australia together. When we go to Australia, it will be when Daddy is there. Uh, and the many, many places he wants to show them and things that we'll do. So they've been, uh, it's been building towards this moment and I did that very deliberately uh, because I wanted them to know uh, that, that that's the expectation, that that's what's normal, that's how our family is together and that the prison was uh, an exception. You said that now you want to push for a pardon. Um, after so many years of fighting and finally this is turned out the way that it has. Were you tempted just to say, that's fine, that's enough, and just leave it? Well, I think a pardon is important. I mean, it's maybe premature to, on the same day, um, as the agreement has been reached to, to start talking about a pardon. But uh, the issue is that uh, the conviction under the Espionage Act has criminalised uh, standard journalistic activity, and it has now set a uh, precedent that will be able to use in the future, be used in the future uh, against other other members of the press. So it's important uh, that these, this uh, precedent not stand, and that eventually uh, Julian receive. A pardon. I don't think we can comprehend just how meaningful this evening is going to be for you and Julian. What's the first thing you do and say when you see him? I love you and uh, I can't believe we're here. You know, it's, it's been a long, hard uh, road to get here. And part of me is just watching on... Um, and I, I think it will take days, if not weeks, to, for it to really sink in. Stella, we wish you well. Thank you for your time.